<laughs> you did it! Yay! Yay. So, so everybody's got their dates and everything good to go. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you and everything. Yeah. yeah. We're we're sure the, we can we're open on the twenty seventh and the twenty fifth. Okay. Officially. Sun. Yep. Oh, okay. But you'll be set. Will you be set up well before the twenty fifth, Everett Sun? Um, we will be set up, but I'm trying not to make too many promises mm-hmm. because we have things to do, like you know, clear out the gallery for you guys and set up that uh, emerald gotcha. table. Because I've, I've been telling people no early sales. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like people are still going to come by. Tell them to come by if we're ready. Mm-hmm. If we are at a point where we can let you in and do some pre shopping, then I don't. I don't mind. It's cool. Like the twenty okay. third or so. There's yeah. a calendar right there if you mm-hmm. want to look at it. Okay. Yes. We should be good by now. Oh, you got your new one. Yeah. Ooh, I, I like it. You're of the yeah, rabbit. Yeah, the rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I love it or not, but that's okay. They did go a little more cartoony on that one. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Hey, everybody. Mm-hmm. Welcome to another edition of Minerals Live. It is crunch time here at Collector's Edge. Oh, yeah. I feel very it, uh, <laughs> It's happening. You guys are out of here next Tuesday. Yes, sir. We leave Our 9 a.m. Tuesday morning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, starting to set up on the 19th. We will start setting up on the 19th. I uh, mm-hmm. hope to have everything kind of set up so that people can come by and shop with us during the weekend. Mm-hmm. Free shop mm-hmm. at the wholesale location. Not at Mineral City. Right. Don't expect that to be ready for until at least the following Monday or Tuesday, okay. at least. But you're you're talking like uh, Sun Gemstone. Oh yeah, Sun Gemstone. Feel free okay. to come by and see how we, how we're doing on the weekend. If if we're at a spot where we can let people start pre shop and then come on in. Okay. Especially if you're willing to help flip some box tops. There you go. <laughs> put them to work. I will. I'll so, put you all to work. So I love these maps that mm-hmm. they've got on the mineralcity.com uh, mm-hmm. website. When you click on there, you can see where everybody is. So you click on Building A, and it'll show you where everybody is located and everything. Uh, really, really well organized and, and they really, really need to know where where we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's only <that's> boom. <laughs> there's only one important location. There. Right. Yeah. There you go. Everybody's going to be coming down there to see our themed cases anyway. We're, there you we're go. trying to theme all of the cases in that building this year. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'll make it easy before. to find what you want to want yeah. to have. Yeah. You know, we we went through the warehouse. We uh, dug all kinds of dug through all of old stock and we found mm-hmm. enough material to do a Yao Gong Shan mm-hmm. case. We're going to try and do a Sweet Home case. Nice. Brian's allowing us to take some stuff and uh, put display it over there instead of at the gallery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have a nice Wolfenite case from La Merida. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, lots of them. Awesome. So SG, the building there in the lower right-hand corner, is the Sun Gemstone building. And those two red stars uh, represent... Where we are there in the Sun Gemstone building, that is these two rooms right on the uh, eastern edge of yep. the building. Mm-hmm. Right on the corner. Right corner, on the corner of Oracle and Lester. Yep. And one thing we got to announce is uh, please be patient with us. Uh, Craig, unfortunately, is not going to be able to join us uh, for the Tucson show, and he's our most experienced man. He's got some family issues. Yeah, so you're down and, to just me, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got... <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. It's but. okay. I mean, that, that is the truth. Like, well, it, it will. It, it, we will be moving just a little bit slower. A little bit slower, and um, won't be probably processing invoices that first few days. We'll just make stacks for everybody, get everything segregated, and then mm-hmm. you can come back and pick up your. Unless you're only buying a flat or two of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, if it's a big order, it's going to take us a few days to get it organized. Yeah, so, so we'll, be we'll, patient with us. Yeah, we'll have help down there, but everybody's mm-hmm. going to be a little bit new to the process. Right. So, yes, we do ask patience in the first few days because mm-hmm. it's going to be hectic. Very. It's, it's, it's very busy those first few days. Everybody knows that. Always. And when right. it's, you know, with our t- top three most experienced people being out uh, at that Sun Gemstone location, uh, we're going to be a little slower than normal. Yeah. Anyway. But it'll be but okay. we'll be okay. Yeah, it will be okay. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you. <laughs> We'll get everybody taken care of. Absolutely. And what, sure. you were saying that officially you're going to open on the 27th there or the 25th? The 25th Yes. On uh, for that location. For Sun Gemstone. Mm-hmm. Technically, okay. uh, the 27th is the opening day for the Building A. Uh-huh. But uh, we will probably go ahead and open up the 25th over there, too. Yeah, gotcha. you're going to have a widespread of, of uh, when people are opening over in Middle City. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. It, yeah it's, it, Some people are on the That's the way right it always now. is. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I was about to say, there are people there this week, I know. I've already gotten right. phone calls. Yep. Oh, and we knocked on your door and nobody answered. That, that's because I'm in Colorado, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this uh, Sun Gemstone building, as you can see in the map, is right on the corner of Lester Street and Oracle. So uh, Oracle does a tricky thing. If you're coming up from downtown, it starts with Granada, turns into Maine, and then becomes Oracle. 
So uh, we're at Oracle and Lester, and the Sun Gemstone is right across the street from the old La Fuente restaurant. It's the big pink building there. Yep. So plenty of parking, uh, either there or across the street. Mm -hmm. So uh, come on in. Yeah, and there's no charge for parking there. It's all first come, first serve, and there's right. lots of street parking. And right. Shouldn't be. Too, it's usually not too too not hard too to bad. find a place. Right. Pretty no. close. Especially if you get there early, folks. Don't yeah. want to be a party poop. But um, a lot of people like to sleep in in Tucson. I've noticed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you get there even by like nine fifteen or nine thirty in the morning, and there's plenty of parking. Yeah. It's Most a, people visit in Tucson. It's kind of a you know, it's like a right. shopping vacation kind of thing. It, Yep. So, it's never a problem. It's it's you, not that I've ever seen. Right. Unless you just like parking like right next to the door, that might be an issue. That's tough. Then you want to get there early. So anyway. Mm -hmm. So uh, you say you're gonna have themed cases and all ready to go. Yes, with the we'll have a little. We'll have the small amount of brand new roto mm -hmm. that we did get. You know, in the batches That's from right. mm -hmm. yes. In the batches from October and last month, uh, mm -hmm. we we have like thirty or forty pieces left from that. I think good, nice, mm -hmm. um, enough to do a, a nice roto display. I think, mm -hmm. uh, but yes, all of our cases in Mineral City will be themed, awesome. and then our value priced Keystone minerals will be over at Unit Eleven at Sun Gemstone. Okay, next to where the wholesale flats are. That's um. Not to go back to this too many times, but that's on the left dot. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's the uh, corner room. As you're looking at this, the, the little the garage door there on the right, that's our wholesale door, mm -hmm. Big and the one straight flats. ahead, straight ahead there is the Keystone room. Yep. And then, of course, when you get over to Building A, uh, you come right through that door in the corner there, next to the restroom door. Uh, you walk right into our room right there. Yep. And I believe uh, the mineralogical record will be set up right as you would go in mm -hmm. the entrance there. And then good old Chris Stefano will probably be there manning that booth. And then you'll walk right, if you keep walking straight, you'll, you will walk right into our booth. Right into our room. It's yep. a beautiful room. Yes, lots of cases in there. Nine good. full display cases. Mm -hmm. Really good place to hang out and see what the scuttlebutt is from around the rest of the show with uh, Chris <laughs> being there in yeah. the mineralogical record. You'll be sure. able to hear a lot of what's going on. A lot of the dirt. A lot of the dirt. And what? when do you plan on having this room open? I would, Probably the 27th then? I, I would like to go ahead and open up on the 25th. I just don't okay. want to promise it in case we run into delays when we get down there. Sure. But I, that is my plan is to go ahead and open the same day we open at Sun Gemstone. Wow, okay. I know it's a little ambitious, but yeah. uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to be confident. Okay. So if you find the door closed at this room, come on over to Sun Gemstone. Yeah, and you can make fun and, of me for not getting ready. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, and talk to Alan there. Yeah. And make an appointment, and I'm sure you can get over there. And Absolutely. Let you so the room will probably be set up. It's just a matter of manpower or getting everything going. I think well, I, I feel pretty confident in being able to do it. You know, we got sure. our good buddy Mikey Hollenbeck going to help us out when we get down there. Right. Do some moving. So we, we, we should be able to open all three rooms on the 25th good deal sounds good so mike's going to be with you starting on the 25th or a little earlier yeah yeah he's actually going to help us uh he's going to get down there and help us on moving some stuff around those first couple days we're setting up nice because we've got to move a couple cases around okay big heavy coffee table mm -hmm. going down to the gallery for you guys nice <laughs> it's beautiful though oh yeah good gracious that thing's pretty mm -hmm. i just don't want to have to move it too many times it's so once is enough, and same yes. with that oh, big yeah. uh, Uruguayan oh. calcite. Oh my gosh, yeah, yes. Just, you guys are going to have <laughs> Another to thing up. I'm not looking forward to picking up. Oh, that's what you got Zach and Mike for. You're darn right. So. Guys twice my size. Yeah. Anywho. So, that brings us to, I guess, the, uh, unless you have anything else you'd oh, like no, to discuss keep going. about. Keep going. Uh, no, I don't want to cut you off. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Every, it's important, because you're not going to be here next week for our last Minerals Live. I will Tucson. not. This I, is your time to shine. I, I think everybody knows where to see us. Mm -hmm. and okay. They know we, we will have all of our wholesale minerals at the Sun Gemstone, just like we said. Right. All mm -hmm. the new Hardin County fluorites that everybody's been asking me about. Mm -hmm. I will not unpack them. You can see them when you get to Tucson. <laughs> nice. Right, right, right. I actually can't unpack them. They're, they're already gone. Buried. Wow. Yeah. Nice. They were on the semi-truck. The truck already that's already gone. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's already been unloaded and stuck in the rooms? Or, it is. You know? So I will be, that's the first thing I usually, or I'll want to do when we get down there is pull those pallets out and start filling the shelves. Yeah. Right. So, so we can go clean the gallery on Wednesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Yep. When you get into town? Yes. Probably about one thirty-two. Probably about that. Mm -hmm. Depending on what that pass looks like. Hey, 
I, that's <laughs> another one. I, I was already looking at the weather. I'm a little afraid. Oh, is there where Tone's supposed to be? Oh, bad? oh so bad. Hmm. Yes, of course. This is my least favorite part of the drive. Yeah. Going through that last year, foggy, mm-hmm. limited visibility, right. and like, what, 22 degrees and, and icy snow yeah. coming down, freezing up the uh, windshield every minute and a half. Per- <laughs> so, perfect driving conditions when you've got, oh, yeah. uh, when you got a van or a box truck load full oh, of yeah. valuable minerals. Yeah, doesn't could, make you nervous at all. No. Could be worse, though. You could have to go over Vail Pass or one of those. Also things. true. So, uh, Raton's not too bad. It's just... Winter weather driving can always be dicey, guys. Be careful driving, out there. Big trucks yeah. full of rocks. It's yes. not good. So, it's another variable. If you, uh, you're thinking of possibly leaving on Monday, then, if you have to, or what's if, the weather look like? If it ends up like that, we would leave on Monday, but I'm mm-hmm. really hoping to leave Tuesday, Tuesday. morning. Okay. So, but we'll be there, folks. Yeah, right now the weather's Hell so or hot nice water, we're going to be there. <laughs> we will be there. <laughs> So uh, that brings us to the Tucson Fine Mineral Gallery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where Christopher and I, Christopher and I will be, <laughs> if I can talk anymore. You want to chime yeah, in so on this one, Christopher? A lot of really great dealers there. Uh, everybody, I believe, who was there last year is going to be coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dreher uh, Carvings will be there. I'm really mm-hmm. looking forward to seeing Patrick's brand new uh, masterpiece for this show. Right. Uh, then you're looking at... Uh, of course, you know, we'll be there. Stolowitz mm-hmm. Minerals will be there. We've got a, uh, a Crystal Classics, pretty much the anchor point of the building there. Right. Uh, Fine Art Minerals will be in that little entryway. Mm-hmm. Uh, then uh, there's a new section. So if you were there last year, you know, we're right when you walk in the front door, we're right there. Mm-hmm. Nice little display. Fine Art Minerals is in the, uh, the foyer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dreher Carvings to the left. Now, if you go left past Dreher Carvings, you're actually going to go back to uh, Scott Rudolph Minerals and mm-hmm. I believe uh, Walensky, Stu Walensky is going to be back there, which I'm really excited because right. he had he had some really gorgeous stuff. Oh, he has pretty at the Denver so. show that that cranberry tourmaline that he had was just outstanding. Beautiful, love that piece. Mm-hmm. And of course, Blue Cat Productions will be there. Mm-hmm. There's going to be lots of you know Brian will be getting lots of content throughout the show. Right. And in the center, right uh, right off the foyer when you come in, um, there's a uh, a little conference room, and there's going to be a, an incredible schedule of speakers and presentations there. Right. If you go to two Tucson Fine Mineral Gallery uh, website. Just Google Tucson Fine Mineral Gallery. Mm-hmm. Take you right there. There's an entire schedule of events uh, through the days and some of the evenings. There's mm-hmm. uh, several uh, different uh, organizations, I believe, that are going to be uh, yep. doing events. I know right. Young uh, Young uh, Mineral Collectors Group mm-hmm. will be doing. I think Harvard's got one night. Yeah. Yeah. The fellow with the Jade Book is speaking on the third. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it over there, so I'm going to have to give one of you guys money. I want one of those books. Oh, yeah. We can do that. Yeah, so, I think there's a book day, isn't there? Yes. Yes, yeah. it's that day. That, that's, I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of money that's, that day. <laughs> <laughs> I come back with more books from Tucson than anything. Gotcha. But say that I usually end up, by weight anyways, with more books than mm-hmm. rocks For when sure. I come back from Tucson. Right. So we open at 10 a.m. Friday the 27th at the Tucson Five Mineral Gallery. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, if, you, if you're in the neighborhood and you come by the afternoon of the 26th, we'll probably be ready late afternoon. But I just can't promise anything. Mm-hmm. Got a lot going on, and um, we'll try. A lot so, of moving parts. A lot yeah. of moving parts. And Steve Bailey's not here. Craig Wyver's not here. A few other of our wholesale people have moved on. So we're we're getting through it. And we're here for you. Give us a give us a call at three zero three two seven eight nine seven two four, and pick an extension. You know. Punch any number you want. You'll get one of us. <laughs> We're here. Yep. Except for extension 13. He never picks that, up I was phone. about to say, that one never gets into <laughs> <laughs> So uh, 10 or uh, 12 are your best bets. That's Christopher and I. And mm-hmm. we'll give you any information you want. Or uh, minerals at collectorsedge.com right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, send us an email. Four of us get that email. One of us will certainly respond in short order. So um, if you have any questions about whens and wheres and whos and whats, we're there, and we got a lot of new rocks. That we uh, do, Christopher and I. Some beautiful things, beautiful gem things. And I was spying on the stuff that you guys were picking sh- out in the back. Oh my gosh, there's stuff back there I had never seen before. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, 
Very nice selections. Yep. Our room there ought to look pretty nice. So, Absolutely. Um, as always. Won't and be quite as thematic as the, the mineral yeah, scene. I mean, but yeah. generally. Yeah. We'll, have, <laughs> we'll, we'll have a few cases yeah, we'll have a, we We'll have at least a couple of shelves for Sweet Home yeah. and, and this and that. Because we kind of try to limit it just to the higher end things mm-hmm. uh, at the Fine Mineral Gallery. So There's one. Like the uh, best of the best. The best of the best. Just yeah. as a little spoiler, there is one really nice uh, 2022 uh, Sweet Home piece that's going to be in there that Ooh. is really hot. Gives it away. Mm. Gotta come see. Gives it away. Be there on the 26th for that one, folks. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I had a piece at the Fine Mineral Gallery at our open house in November. Mm-hmm. A lot of people looked at it. A lot of people loved it. Uh, and it didn't last long, folks. It's didn't not make it home. Too yeah. Soon. Yeah. So, uh, shop early, shop often, as Graham Sutton would say. Yep. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm so and glad he, you worked in the Graham, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> and he'll be around. He's going to help us, too, down there. Mm-hmm. He's going to be helping you, I was about especially. To say, he, he has promised to help me a lot at Unit 12, so, mm-hmm. so that uh, nobody has to exercise too many of their patients waiting on me to try and check them out. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, he, he should be around. Good. He's, he's always milling about Mineral City somewhere, folks. Right. Oh, yeah. Just just stop for a moment, listen, you can probably hear him. <laughs> yeah. Or hear people asking, where's yeah, Graham? Because that's, that's probably the question I get asked the most. Have you seen Graham lately? Especially last year when they had some um, backed up toilet issues, which Ooh. he promises will not happen this year. He's he replumbed the place. Yeah, yeah he's he replumbed the place. Yep, there should not be, unless somebody shoves an entire roll down the thing, a yeah. uh, problem with the toilets this year. So fear not. <laughs> When nature calls, you'll be able to take care of it at Mineral City. So, let's say because the bathrooms are pretty nice at Mineral City. They are, you know, mm-hmm. especially considering like most shows that you go to, you're lucky if you get a dirty porta potty. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it's uptown, not quite the fine mineral gallery, but oh. it's nice at Mineral City. And, pretty darn nice. And one of the things, like I was saying, at uh, Mineral City, with a good place to place to just uh, hang out, especially with mineralogical record there, to just mm-hmm. talk and see what's going on around the show. Um, Tucson Fine Mineral Gallery has an excellent courtyard oh my gosh. Uh, oh, with so amazing food. Uh, Brother John's Barbecue, I believe, is uh, yes. catering again this year. Uh-huh. And uh, so it's a it's a magnificent place for lunch. The brisket, the uh, mm-hmm. the salmon salad was, I think, the one that it's I awesome. got more than yeah. anything else. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's a great place if you're just like, okay, I've been looking at rocks all day. I want to look at some more, but I want to sit down and just see who walks by to talk to, have a good meal. You know, mm-hmm. gallery is a great place to hang out. Yep. Yeah, no, I would say it's a very social venue. Very. Yeah, there's very. lots of nice places to sit down. And, mm-hmm. and there will be a lot fewer dealers doing uh, tailgating there this year, I think, because most of the ones that were tailgating at the uh, Fine Mineral Gallery this year are actually going to be up at Westward Look this year. Ah, mm-hmm. okay. So, okay. yeah, Marcus Budiel and Bill Larson and whatnot used to like to sit out in the gallery, that patio mm-hmm. area and pedal to our customers for the entire <laughs> show. So. The uh, yeah, the Westward Look show. It was a big surprise that yeah. it's actually going on. It looks like they've got at least a yeah. dozen or more. Well, they were so um, desperate for some place to set up. Yeah. There just was a, a when dearth started, of when new people started places. asking me questions on Instagram. Right. I was like, I, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. There's no Westward Look show this this mm-hmm. year. Yeah. A lot of people will be really happy that that mm-hmm. tradition is continuing. Yeah, it's not a Wasteman production. It's mm-hmm. going to be a pretty loose association of dealers. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll want to definitely just go. Uh, I would say contact each dealer on a one-by-one basis there'll exactly probably be more information list. available yeah. Yeah. as mm-hmm. far as exactly what dates are they're open times who's opening when i think it's going to be pretty random and maybe even mostly by appointment so oh, okay. don't know don't know but make the tucson fine mineral gallery your first stop we yeah. are open it's on open. the morning of the 27th yep and from there you can go wherever you want but stop there first mm. Yeah, and with that, you can't get much more bang for your buck than the Fine Mineral Gallery. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, the number of dealers are twelve dealers there now. Yeah, but uh, the two new dealers, Rudolph and uh, Stu, plus mm-hmm. Moonsteiner, is that the guy? Moonsteiner, yeah, it's going to be there. The new jeweler, so uh, there's going to be some beautiful there, high-end focal crystal. Let's mm-hmm. yeah. say yeah, there'll be some really nice stuff in his his area. Yeah, Great Hines. Mm-hmm. And don't, and don't forget the focal auction. crystal. Is, if you want yeah, to talk well, to the they're folks. just putting in a couple of cases. They're yeah. not really going to have a room. I wasn't sure if they were going to have anybody on site to talk to people probably, or not. Yeah. Probably. What's it, uh, Craig um, Kissick mm-hmm. will be there. Uh, I'm Nick sure. Valenzuela and Tama. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I think will mm-hmm. be there. So, 
be there or be square on the yeah. 27th. Now, we are not going to make you wait until the 27th to, to shop. No. We've got a bunch of fine things to show you right now. Good segue. So. Good segue. <laughs> here, here we go. Specimen number one on today's show is a Spezzertina Smoky Quartz from the Fujian province in China. I love these things. This uh, good one. Some of my favorite material. Right. My, uh, my uh, still photos didn't exactly live up to my usual standard. I, well, this this, pe this piece is so three-dimensional. It's coming pretty good on the camera. Yeah, the, 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 the color on the motion the is looking challenge. really good. Right, right. Uh, it, well, we had, yeah. our, we had our lights switched out back there, didn't we? In the since you since the last time you photographed, did we change the lighting situation back there? No, I pulled oh, out okay. the old ones. They're oh, the okay. CFLs. Okay, gotcha. And I would say the 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 video camera is probably making the garnets look a little more poppy than they are, and the still picture is a little less. I try to I try to make sure when you pull the rock out of the box, it's a hair better than what you see. Mm -hmm. So, but it's pretty close to what you're seeing here on the video camera. Luster's really good yeah. in, in all cases, and, and the this, transparency looks very nice on those crystals, even from here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the specialties are nice and smoke are jemmy, and the smokies are nice and jemmy. This is a great piece, and so three dimensional. It was really hard to pick up on the. Uh, Still photos. Yeah, and a large piece to boot. Mm -hmm. uh, Width-wise, you're looking at 13 and a half centimeters. That's a big boy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, six and a half uh, and six and a half in both uh, the uh, the height and the depth. Yep. So a really really nice one. Uh, smoky uh, or spacer teens up to three millimeters right. and uh, quartz at uh, up to 4.3 centimeters. A lot of people. Re I, I'm mm -hmm. finding that crystals on matrix. That's like a big thing for a lot of people's right. Right at that four centimeter. Yeah. Is, is where they really like to see those crystals four centimeters and up. So. Yep. Yep. That's where it really gets substantial. Mm -hmm. They like it. And uh, I tried to get nice on the price on this as usual for our minerals live viewers. Mm -hmm. Today it is just fourteen hundred dollars shipped to your door. That's a great price. That is so, and this is one of the best pieces we still have available. I would agree with you. Yep. I'm not exactly sure where we got this one. I don't think it's uh, no. So, so if I wanted to get that for say as low as twelve hundred and sixty, how would I do that? Uh, well, maybe buy everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> If I if I bag if everything, you buy can I get everything today, <laughs> we'll we'll get there. So, and then we're still waiting for that first person to pop for that. So that is the uh, bailing uh, offer. Yep. Oh, uh, yes. okay. Buy uh, everything on the show, and you get an extra ten percent. I want to see. I want to see it that. happen. Mm -hmm. Today could be the day. <laughs> so anyway. Mm. We'll get give one last little look see on the turntable. Beautiful smoky quartz is almost, almost the quality of what you see come out of France, and uh, nice spezzertines. The, the combination of these are just classics. Yeah, so. and it's a mm -hmm. closed locality now. It is. So I mean, it's not like these are still coming out. It's, there's, there's, yep. they're not. They're not. Mm -hmm. So our inventory for sure is gone. We no oh, longer no. Have, we no Decimated longer have any in the wholesale. Oh really? Not like none, almost zero. Wow. None, as in zero zero. Wow. The last ones were gone in uh, September. Wow. That's only because we pulled them down off the shelf. Gotcha. So you can't shop early on this one, but get a hold of us and make sure you secure this piece for your collection. So now, if you, uh, depending on what you like in your browns, if you prefer more of a coffee colored or if you prefer more of a root beer color what we've got coming up next if you're like more of the root beer mm -hmm. color would be these wonderful wonderful barites from elk creek indeed so you have a nice uh, calcite matrix here doubly terminated uh absolutely love the barites from this locality mm -hmm. really super prismatic crystals uh wonderful sharp terminations that's always that's always nice and easy <laughs> i yep. like that yep there we go Oh, yeah. And just a little bit of orangish color to the brown there. I love that. Yep. Uh, this is a super piece. Doubly terminated laying on the matrix. I'm really shocked we haven't sold this piece yet. Me too. Because yeah. it's got that really interesting, like, first generation calcite. Right. Instead of, like, that more blocky second generation that's mm -hmm. typical from the locality. Right. I love that piece. Yep. That's a really good one, Richard. Yep. And, man, I don't, you don't think about how transparent it is until you see it kind of backlit see like it, that. Right, yeah. right. Coming around the turntable. Mm -hmm. It's really gemmy on the terminations. Yeah, it yeah. is. 
and talking about substantial size for crystals, you're looking at 6.1 centimeters for the crystal. Mm -hmm. And then uh, overall, you're looking at 7 by 8 by 3.3 centimeters for the piece as a whole. All right. Super piece. Give it a quick... Uh on the black uh, background, it gets a little lost. And now for South Dakota, is there really a lot hmm? going on mineralogically up in South Dakota? Otherwise, it's more of a uh, fossil there's area. There's a lot of fossils. Say, which this area speaking. itself is a fossil yeah, area. Right. And, so. and they find the barites there in mm -hmm. fossil the concretions. Right. Yeah, with ammonites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, I know there's like a bubblegum agate was one of the first things that I ever collected hmm. from South Dakota. Okay. Uh, but yeah, as far as really fine crystallized minerals, I'm not aware That's of pretty a much lot barite and calcite. Yeah. I believe yeah. is yeah. pretty much it, except for some weird rarities. Yeah. Uh, went up there collecting once with another uh, past employee of the Collector's Edge, and mm -hmm. there's like all kinds of weird small. You need a microscope to look at them, <laughs> but there's a lot of weird rarities <laughs> that come from there as well. So yeah. don't send us emails saying it's not just barite and calcite <laughs> there, there, there is more stuff there is more stuff you know. but uh, as far as things that people put in their display cases i think that's pretty much it yeah. mm -hmm. a little bit of gypsum i've seen a few gypsums yeah. from, from right from there and um, even this locality you find them in yeah. these uh, concretions as well usually mm -hmm. really small small mm -hmm. so this is super piece uh, i think you've already gotten the uh dimensions i got the dimensions seven by eight by three three awesome uh, let's wait for this to calm down a little bit. We're showing red on our bit rate. Uh-oh. Yeah, so uh, calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So uh, this piece is today $1,500. Nice. A nice unrepaired piece on Matrix. Mm -hmm. Beautiful gem. This is a super piece. You would definitely want to add it to your collection. And as Christopher was alluding, there is a way to get this for $1,350. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Package deal. It is a package deal. <laughs> that would right. be a really nice box of rocks, though. That oh, up at my house. gosh, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, it would. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Really movie. good start to the collection. Yep. So uh, let's go uh, kind of, you know, Sam, there was a little bit of that orangish uh, brown color. Let's go to the opposite end of the color spectrum mm -hmm. and go to blue. Well, also this thing is blue. Blue, <laughs> and with incredible luster. Yep. I have to say, it looks wet. Yep. These um, things are juicy. Yes, they are. And one of my favorite names in all of the mineral kingdom, mm -hmm. plumbogamite. Plumbogamite. So. Just by, so the plum would be from lead, right? I'm guessing. Yeah. These uh, the, the name came from when they discovered them in England like a mm -hmm. century and a half ago or so. So... I would guess its derivation is there. Let's mm -hmm. see how I did on that. That's not bad. Pretty close. Uh, let's give it a little tweak. Ooh, ooh, there, you there we go and kind of spin it back a little bit so it kind of rolls for people. There we go. Nice. Really yep. nice. There we go. Great Spin luster. on the turntable. That's such a good piece. I love this little piece. Which is really funny is, is it's one of those things that I just feel that there's a lot of mineral stuff that needs to be updated because like when you when you when you look up the information on plumbo gummite, mm -hmm. like the uh, the luster is usually considered dull or uh, resinous, dull or waxy, mm -hmm. and uh, it just seems to be a much higher quality of luster to me than than, than waxy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, certainly on these primary ones, it is yeah. nice and juicy. Those uh, replacements after pyromorphite that we say, have, those are, those are more what you're talking absolutely, about. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Super, super mm -hmm. luster. Yeah. And you can still see on this piece here where it grew over pyromorphite, there's that one little oh, exposed neat. spot there. So that's kind I of a neat, that. neat add on this piece. I'll go, and go back mm -hmm. to the still so you can kind of see that easier. You can kind of see that at about 1 o'clock. There's a little exposed area of pyromorphite on this mm -hmm. piece as well. And you want to give the uh, dimensions on that? or Yeah, 5.5 by 5.6 by 1.5 centimeters mm -hmm. uh, on this one. Uh, you're looking at where we got the largest of the uh, these botryoidal uh, right. pieces there is about 5 millimeters across. That's right. Yeah, yeah. This Botryoids? Was little, this, this was a little <laughs> hard to do. <laughs> I did the best I could on this one, folks. <laughs> So, uh, bubbles. But they're bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, it, boy, it's certainly pretty, though. I, yeah, I love yeah. that thing. I mean, it, it just it glistens. It, yes. Chatoyant glistening is yeah. how you can describe it. If it was pink, I'd call it plum, plumba bubble gumite. Ball. Uh, <laughs> not, not going there. Anyway. Going there. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. 
There's a, yeah, and you can see that green when it came around yep, there quite well. Yep. Okay. You're really covering the color spectrum today, Richard. We're trying. Like We're it. generally trying. This piece uh, today on the show is $2,900. Wow. So it's probably, I think, about the most expensive piece we have on the mm -hmm. show today. But uh, it is. It, I, it's also quite an exceptional piece. It is an exceptional piece. So we didn't have very many of these in our inventory. Mm -mm. And uh, it, this one. I would say it's definitely. Is right right there, wise yep. is the best. So, yep. yep. So it's a super nice miniature. If you're a miniature collector, this would be a great addition. If you're a Chinese collector or other types of sweets, this would certainly be a great addition. So, Definitely. Yep. All right. <laughs> and then, uh, keeping with uh, the association, there, our next one is mm -hmm. uh, you know to mm -hmm. not not from the same locality, but no, no. you know the association of pyromorphite. There you go. Mm -hmm. Love it. Uh, Bunker Hill Mine, Shoshone County. Uh, mm -hmm. Idaho? Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. Yep. And, uh, not quite, not quite a small cabinet, still about a miniature size there. So uh, yeah, I call it a real, miniature. real on the edge. A uh, 4.1 by 6 by 2.3 centimeters. Mm -hmm. uh, again, killer, killer luster. Yep. And, uh, interestingly, you have, uh, kind of a botryoidal form over a crystalline form. You can see the, the barrel shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, still, you know, visible underneath, but then you've got the more kind of botryoidal form over the top. I really love the combination. Yeah. And a really great contrast of the yellow with the orange here. Yeah. And, of course, Pyromorphite from Bunker Hill, super luster. Right. And there is a last generation. I, mean, I think if I have a good close-up here, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Where the prismatic crystals are on oh, top of nice. the Arsinian. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So... Yeah, this is a cool piece. So we're looking at three different generations of uh, possibly. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Uh, the barrels are hidden underneath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but they're Very definitely cool. the, these. These are a late stage. These ones on the top. Mm -hmm. It's a great contrast. It piece. is. It is. It is. So, this one. Did you get a um, five yeah. millimeters on the plumbos? Uh, and the pyros. The pyros. Uh, pyros, not pyros. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm still stuck on the plumbos. <laughs> right. Um, we know where your mind yeah. is. Huh? Five stuck millimeters the on the uh, on the pyros uh -huh. uh, on the larger crystals. Uh -huh. there. Yep. So this is this is super. Yeah, and do. Bunker Hill is a classic locality. There won't be any more since mm. it's a super fun site. Yeah. There won't be any more of these coming out. No. Uh, so. Uh, they're good ones are rare to get and uh, nice combinations like this mm -hmm. are very difficult so this is a good opportunity to may secure have, yourself a nice little piece yeah may have a few uh, uh large ones uh for the gallery this year uh, a couple uh -huh. seconds, so. right but yep but this one's a great uh, great piece for a miniature yep. and really good price yep just nine hundred dollars mm -hmm. wow so. that's a super top tier piece i think for oh, yeah. under a thousand yep some really, really great quality on those. And uh, you started it, Christopher. This could be yours for $810. $810 when you buy them all. Buy them all. Anyway. And and not a, think of how much you're saving on shipping because that's like free shipping times five on top of everything or else. Or six, yeah. Oh, it's six. That's right. Yeah, we got six. six pieces. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So, anyway. It's a great... It's a... Hard to represent color in yes. that uh, piece mm -hmm. there. So right. I, yep. You know, it's hard to find really good yellow or orange minerals. It's and true. That covers both of them. And I agree. It's, I don't know, I, that might be my favorite piece that you picked in the show so far. That, really? I really like that piece. Good one. Gotcha. Yep. Put this in the plumbo next to each other, and uh, there you go. That would be blazing. That would be really nice. Blazing. There you go. That's a good mm. one. So, moving on oh, to yeah. specimen number five. Yes, really, really pretty piece. Yep. Uh, Stellarite, Apophyllite, mm -hmm. and Chalcedony from India. And just really, really incredible color there. Mm -hmm. Man, you know, again, nice. It's funny, we were showing blue, right. and then we were showing orange. Now we're showing blue and orange and all one together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing a little bit of a uh, color theme this uh well, I try this to show. See. Very nice. Let's see if I can get um, it to go into the So stand here we're looking a similar here. size to the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, five by six by 2.3 centimeters. Mm -hmm. uh, the largest uh, stellarite crystals are to uh, 1.7 centimeters. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they have that kind of radiating form. 
them. Uh, right. You see them uh, sometimes. You see them radiating in like 360 degrees, almost like a chrysanthemum in uh, chalcedony. But usually, that chalcedony's not got this color. Uh, I really love it with this this just icy blue. Uh, chalcedony like that. It almost mm -hmm. reminds me of that faint blue you get in like some of the lace agates. Oh, oh there you go. That yeah. really, really light pale, no, it is pale, icy kind blue. of hue range. Yeah, and then just a little, little uh, bitty apophyte crystals on there too. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, I was kind of shocked by the cute little piece. Stellarite wasn't one I was very familiar with. Mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. kind of only seen this when I saw you take it out the other day. I had mm -hmm. to go look it up. Mm -hmm. Great color. Beautiful. Yep. Love it. And yeah. mm -hmm. the Go most ahead. affordable piece in the show. Absolutely. And this came out of the uh, Dr. Stephen Neely collection that oh, we nice. acquired a few years ago. So, um, actually, uh, if I can get it out here. There we go. Switch back to... Oh, uh, it's got an old label. It's got an old mm. Neely label with his handwriting that's on it. That's pretty awesome. So nice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, if, you're, uh, if you like old provenance pieces, this is a great one. Uh, I find more and more people really do like yeah. to have all of that documentation. It's right. kind of like the mm -hmm. the story of your mm -hmm. rock before you got it, you know? It's oh, yeah, right. for sure. Like everybody has a story. Every rock's got a story. And, right. and I can imagine that would have been that would have been one of the earlier pieces that he collected, and that must have just caught his eye. Yes, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And he was a really good friend of uh, Casey Pandy with uh, Superb Minerals. So okay. He, uh, Casey would always save him, the, you know, the little cuties. Yeah. You know, so when Steve would stop by at the Tucson or Denver show, you know, they would pull them out and Steve would get them for his own little private stash. Nice. So, yep, super piece. Let me get back to the picture here. And it's a great photo, by the way. Oh, thank you. 225 For a mere $225. I'm not going to do the math on this one. Please don't. <laughs> there's a decimal point involved and it could get messy. Yeah. So, 10% off if you buy them all. <laughs> yes. And last but not least, I saved a little gem mineral. Fortunately, there's no roto on today's show. But we'll have one for next week's show. Wow, you don't mm -hmm. do too many mineral yeah, lines that's, that's without a roto. Yeah, no. But I, I found this little cutie, and I just had to go there. And I know, being uh, gem people, I'm sorry if you're wondering why I'm lurking around here. <laughs> the microphone is right in front of the uh, display that has all the tiles, that has the pictures on it. So I really can't see what I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> He's just dodging a ghost you guys can't, there you go. can't <laughs> see. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Specimen number six. We'll get through this. Hands and I. This one's this so Jimmy. Is Jimmy. 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 So Jimmy. Yep. Now, the size on this one, would this be a thumbnail or is this a box buster there? Oh, it's no, it's one, a thumb. It's a thumb. So, one yeah. point says thumbs under two? Yeah, 2.5. 2.5. Mm -hmm. So, okay. actually, some people would so, even consider this a little small for a thumb. Yeah. yeah. So, 1.7 uh, mm -hmm. is the height and then 0. 0.6 by 0. 0.5 centimeters. Mm -hmm. uh, incredibly jimmy. Great color. And uh, as it goes around, let's see if I'm curious if we'll see this on the screen here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the pleochrism. Boom, right there. Great these, picture, Richard. Yep, Great you. shot. Try um, Yeah, all you have have to do is you know turn this one around in hand to see that really really great pleochrism mm -hmm. very nice piece yep. and really really good color for the size a lot of the times these smaller tanzanite crystals you don't get that saturation of color right so uh for a thumbnail or this if you do, is they're not as transparent yeah right. Uh, I mean, sharp sides. Look at the luster as it goes around here. Mm -hmm. You can see just how nice the uh, prismatic faces are there. And then the termination, absolutely great termination. You can see the pleochrism as it spins around there. Mm -hmm. Really great gem thumbnail. Yep. Go back to the close-up so people can see it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> hard, it's hard to zoom in with that camera. It is. Better, Next to impossible. So anyway. But yeah, these pictures are this. so good. Like the... This really kind of showcases how nice this piece is. Mm -hmm. I tried. Oh, that one right there. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. Really nice sharp termination. So Great color transition. So, If mm -hmm. thumbnails or gem crystals are your jam, this one is a really good. Are your jam. Really good. In a, yeah, nice a nice price. slang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And for $1,450, this is another beauty. Yeah, it is. Wow. So, Another one that would involve a decimal point if we try to do the math for you. So. <laughs> this we'll one could be yours for a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 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 Anyway, 
Uh, be sure to get a hold of us at minerals at collectors edge.com is the best on these minerals live pieces because they uh, it's amazing how fast people get back to us yeah. on these. Yeah. So um, there's only six of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they, they go tend to go pretty quick if you're interested. But uh, if it's if you don't watch the show for three or four days, don't say, oh, well, it's gone. I'm just not going to worry about it. Send us an email because yeah. it, it, yeah. it, it miracles do happen. Yeah, and if you're new to uh, watching us on the Minerals Live, you know they're they're here on our uh, YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, take a look through some of the old ones. If right. there's some you'd like to ask us about, please contact us. Mm-hmm. And if you want to see them, you know, right after, uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and you'll mm-hmm. get notified whenever we have new videos posted. Right. We generally do these recordings on Wednesday about noon, and they don't uh, usually get to. Uh, YouTube until late in the afternoon Mm -hmm. and then the email goes out uh, Thursday mornings so if you're subscribed to YouTube Mm -hmm. our channel you get the notification before anybody else yeah so it's definitely worth subscribing to our channel and getting the notifications for sure gives you a head start absolutely so that brings us to the end of another minerals live I hope uh, everybody found it informative Um, we'll have another one next week uh, unfortunately, Alan won't be able to join us. He'll already be I'll in Tucson. I'll already be in Tucson, and I hope to see every all of you guys there. Right. Uh, I love it when people come in and say, "Ah, we saw you on Merrill's Live," or "Ah, we watch your live mm-hmm. shows on Instagram." Or, right. Now, if which, I am watching your live shows on Instagram, am I going to see you doing shows from Tucson? We are doing shows from Tucson. We're mm-hmm. going to do a Tucson preview show. That uh, as soon as we get all of the cases set up, we are going to close the doors, but well, they'll already mm-hmm. be closed. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to show every single case to the uh, social media crowd mm. the day bef- the night before we open. Nice. nice. That's, that's the plan. That's a good way to plan your day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch yep. that beforehand. Just hope there aren't any cat fights for things. That, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. But if there's a big crowd on the door, I want to have a shot of a big crowd. <laughs> yeah, please. But yes, we will be doing uh, live shows good. throughout. Nice. Uh, we plan on doing a live show during the Mineral City uh, community party mm-hmm. and doing a full tour of Mineral City and going around and showing you the entire kind of uh, Ooh, nice. event, mm. which we hope is nice and fun. It'll be an after hours kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then we will have a couple of lives, both from the wholesale room at uh, Sun Gemstone Unit 12, as mm-hmm. well as Mineral City Building A. Mm-hmm. Great. And the address people can find us at on... Uh Collectors, Instagram? Instagram, we are at Collectors Edge Minerals. Uh, mm-hmm. You can visit our website at collectorsedge.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything's pretty hooked together. You can also find us on Facebook by searching Collectors Edge Minerals. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thanks for putting this together. Uh, yeah. And uh, we'll, Christopher and I will catch you next week for our final edition of yep. uh, Minerals Live before we head down to Tucson. And uh, we wish you good luck, Alan. Thank, thank you. And safe travels. Thank you. Yes. And we will see you there. We'll get down there on the 24th. So, mm-hmm. um, man, it's coming fast. Yeah, it's very yeah, fast. It mm-hmm. Make your plans now, folks. <laughs> yes. We really hope to see you there because uh, mineral shows, uh, it's really the best. Oh, it's the, my favorite yeah, part. No, yeah. it, it's, it's just, like, you get to see all kinds of new things mm-hmm. as well as spend time with lots of friends who are like-minded and like the same things that you like. I mean, it's just yeah. as much as much a social event as it is a shopping event. Absolutely. It's a family reunion. It really is. Mm-hmm. There you go. So... Anyway, can't wait to uh, see this sign as we pull into Tucson. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. As soon as we come around the corner past that intersection with uh, Interstate 19 and uh, see this sign, I know it's on. Uh, it's on. It's on. <laughs> yes. About so, time to unload a van. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So uh, we'll see you there, folks, on the uh, well, 25th or the 27th, and um, maybe we'll catch you next week on another edition of Minerals Live. So thanks, everybody. Take thanks care. Thanks for coming in. See you.